this video, we will be demonstrating the concept of how a gyroscope works and demonstrating the gyroscope experiment, the TM1004, which is part of the theory of machines range from Tech Equipment. The importance and usefulness of gyroscopes was not fully understood by scientists and engineers until around the 19th century, when its first practical use was by French physicist Léon Foucault, who used one to demonstrate the movement of the Earth. A traditional gyroscope has a spinning central core, also known as the rotor, mounted on a shaft. The gyroscope sits on a gimbal frame that allows it to spin and move on different planes. Many machines use large rotating parts, for example in vehicles, sometimes these rotating parts can create a problem. When the machine or an external force tries to change the axis of the part, the gyroscopic action creates an unwanted reaction force, i.e. the wheels on the road or track vehicle become gyroscoped as they rotate. As the vehicle changes direction, unwanted reaction forces destabilise the vehicle. In other cases, the gyroscopic forces can be useful. For instance, within a bicycle and motorcycle wheel, they become resistant to the axial movement. This helps to keep the machine balanced and upright when moving in a straight line. The gyroscope experiment for tech equipment uses motors and sensors to create controllable gyroscopic actions and measure the forces and velocities. It shows how to predict the directions and magnitudes of couples in a simple gyroscope. Let's take a look around the gyroscope apparatus. The gyroscope apparatus is mounted on a solid base unit. The core section which creates the gyroscopic action is the middle part here known as the rotor. This contains an electric motor that rotates the unit horizontally and a flywheel on a common shaft. Here is a precession motor mounted vertically to turn the belt and pulley system to the flywheel to rotate the gyroscope assembly around the vertical axis. This is supported by a gimbal frame holding the gyroscope in place as it spins and rotates under this clear protective dome. A force sensor supports the gyroscope horizontally and can measure the vertical force on the gyroscope shaft at a known distance from the gimbal pivot. Using this data, students can calculate the reaction moment. This is a turning force similar to a moment or torque caused by two opposing forces. Sensors detect the spin of the rotor and the precession motor and are connected to the digital displays at the front of the base here. Over here, there are counterweights fitted on the gimbal to balance the gyroscope. The base unit, as well as housing the displays, has three controls. Two that control the velocities of the motor and the precession motor, both in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction, and another which is the tear button for allowing you to zero the reading from the force sensor before each experiment. Tech Equipment's versatile data acquisition system, VDAS, is also available with this apparatus. What this means is you can carry out quick and reliable tests as it gives you real-time data capture, monitoring and display, and calculations such as rotor speed, precession speed, and gyroscopic couples, plus all of the charting and important readings on a suitable computer or laptop. For more information on the gyroscope and other apparatus within the Theory of Machines range, click on the links in the description box below. Finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell to ensure you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.